Welcome to Digital Transformation in Construction Site. Thank you for your interest and participation in our session. Today, we would like to share what comes next after successful adoption in BIM, along with our digital strategy and some of the use cases in our construction site. My name is Kazuteru Ishizawa. I'm leading the Kanto Region Construction Department in Dive House. I love construction site and interacting with people there. When I participated in AU for the first time in 2019, Autodesk started to introduce many digital solutions, applying BIM in construction. I was very inspired by the concept of future of construction. Some of the younger generation in my team are the first plan grid adapters in Japan. I'd like to introduce some of their recent works in this session. Hand over to my co-speaker, Miyauchi-san. Thank you, Ishizawa-san. My name is Takaki Miyauchi. I'm leading the team for General Construction Division in Construction Digital Promotion Department Technology Headquarter in Dive House. I like orchestrating the team, aligning the team members, mind into one direction. We are still on the way to transform our way of work between design team and construction team. If some of the elements in this session are resonate with you or helpful for you, it is my pleasure. Before I jump into the discussion, let's think about the weight of the digitalization. I think digitalization contains several ways of interpretations. For example, changes from information written on the paper to data files, changes from CAD to BIM. Here, we would like to compare between design engineers who deal with project before construction and on-site engineers, workers who involved in the project after construction is started. On your left, it is comparison about the number of sheets of papers used in one project. Design team consumes about 5,200 sheet of papers on average. This number is declining due to the progress of BIM adoption. On the other hand, construction, construction team consumes about 46,000 sheet of papers on site. Those papers are obliged to be stored and each management cost is not cheap. On your right, it, it is comparison about the number of people engaged in one project. On average, around 1,750 people involved in design team. When we look at the construction site, it is about 22,000. If we can achieve transformation in construction site by digitalization, it means we can impact more people. Now, we would like to discuss about the digitalization on site and the digital transformation coming next to it. In the first section, we would like to briefly introduce Dive House. Dive House was established in 1955 at that time. We developed a prefabricated warehouse for railway facilities called Pipe House. It was the first prefab building in Japan. It was created by 
quite unique idea from founder. Utilizing the standardized components shown we are right. Dive House has expanded its business into houses, rental houses, commercial facilities, hotels, warehouses, offices, and medical facilities. We have grown into a $40 million company. We are not just a housing company, but the largest construction company in Japan. We started to work on BIM company-wide rolling out since 2017. And last year, we have started digital construction project utilizing the digital information. There are three big challenges. First, utilize the standardized BIM data in digital construction project to produce greater effect. Second, promote future-looking digitalization in construction site, not only replacing papers by electronic forms. Third, accumulate and analyze digital data, evolve and promote its utilization to contribute to business judgment. Here are some of our business initiatives in numbers. We are aiming to achieve $100 billion revenue by 2055. We are also trying to enhance productivity by 30% in the area of construction management work as a part of the work style reform initiatives in Japan. We are striving to achieve a today off in four weeks on site. Lastly, 30% reduction in CO2 emission by 2030. Our mission is to achieve easy to work environment by solving social challenges and expanded business. Now, let's move on to the digital transformation in construction at Dio House. This slide shows our future state, applying the digital strategy. In digital plan phase, we design the optimized building, utilizing BIM data and automated design technology. In manufacture phase, we fabricate steel frame parts collaborating with BIM data. In terms of data utilization, we seamlessly connect all processes and visualize centrally, centrally managed data. As construction site, we actively use ICT and promote increasing efficiency. We accumulate various data coming from construction site and remotely manage from smart control center. Here, I would like to talk about the smart control center. In our housing division, we install cameras in almost all construction sites, around 500 locations in Japan. And the images are managed at the centralized control center. Site patrols can be performed remotely. We are currently aiming for predictive management as the next step. Predictive management is a mechanism. Detecting dangerous work at the site is AI and reveal unsafe behavior in advance. On site information, such as drawings and schedule, in unified as digital information and shared with construction workers. If any uncertainties, they can access the smart control center for clarification. Smart control center is evolving day by day, and we aim to make all business judgment in this center in the future. From here, I would like to explain about our BIM deployment initiatives. In Dive House, we have started deploy BIM corporate-wide since 2017. In general construction division, architecture design and structure design team has already moved to Revit. MVP is still on the way. In this BIM transition, we apply our BIM standard to 1,000 projects. 
from large to mid-site mid buildings annually. So this project data are stored as standardized digital in building info. We are striving to adapt Revit further. When we project our beam level on UK beam maturity model, it would be somewhere in level two. When we reach to the next level, business efficiency, efficiency would be higher. According to our estimation, if we collaboration is performed in entire design construction work, the work efficiency can be improved by 30%. For the transition from beam level two to three, it required a major change in our existing business processes. We started to apply BIM in all projects since last year. The way to create BIM model about the workflow, such as who will do it, in which process, type of discussion. We thought we investigate and discuss it enough. However, when we started to apply it, in real. Many issues became clear. Currently, getting the full support from OTS consulting team, we are work, working together to polish our process and workflow for further visualization, standardization, and optimization to gain more efficiency. It is important to create the right beam model in standardized workflow and utilize it natively on the platform. We use BIM 360 as CDE. In February, we acquired ISO 19650-1 and 2 for the first time in Japan. To the next stage, we will evolve the construction beam and at the same time, we are going to create more use case of BIM, applying for manufacturing. In 2019, we launched digital construction project. It utilizing BIM data and exploring the utilization of various construction data. We position BIM data as an information platform for building data from design to construction and maintenance, working on standardization for each phase. The data stores as a building database flows into digital construction project through common data platform and will be maximize the value of data utilization. For example, with automatic design analyzed from past project data will enable us to propose the optimal data in front of our customers on the spot to verify the design of parts in the factory or minimize construction work on site are a part of our next generation of industrialized construction process development, storing the data used in many processes we are reflecting it in more advanced beam collaboration. The digital Mabius loop, we believe it will move construction DX forward strongly. From the next slide, my calling will talk about the digital utilization on site in detail. Ishidao san, hand over to you. Thank you, Miyauchi san. Now, I would like to to cover our current situation in construction site from the viewpoint of digitalization. In the last few years, the momentum for digitalization of construction has dramatically increased in Japan as well. In reality, many people in construction sites tend to be overwhelmed by huge conventional work. Despite of such difficulties, a forward-looking team 
has started to seek for new technology adaptation to realize the future of construction site. So far, we have been working with paper in center, introducing a new way of decision making utilizing digital data. Mean a lot more than just reducing number of seat of papers. It leads to accumulating digital assets for big data. In the beginning, we thought digitalizing the process by itself could be effective, but we began to realize the importance of linking it with BIM data. Next, let's look into our key initiative in the construction workflow. We are promoting digitalization by casting a spotlight on four areas, inspection, schedule, quantity, and construction plan. In addition to visualizing the BIM model and calculating the quantity from the BIM model, we decided to digitalize site information and schedule. Then we came up with a plan to use digital tools. As a common data environment, we utilize BIM 360 docs and store BIM model for field survey and construction plan. We decided to use plan grid as for construction simulation, quantity estimation and schedule. We applied assemble. From here, I would like to introduce some of the use cases of four digital tools. First, about BIM 360 docs. In many construction sites, paper-based workloads are still in the mainstream. We tried and explored what kind of approaches are effective for on-site members to recognize the value of BIM 360. Majority of people are not accustomed to use digital data. That's the reality we have to handle. As a result of radical discussions, we decided to promote BIM 360 on site. Starting from four key use cases. One, Issue management for drawing check. Two, crash detection and model based issue management. Three, 2D, 3D comparison for change management. Four, create dashboard to share construction status. Next use case is plan grid. This is an example we applied plan grid to river arrangement inspection. We can store river inspection information in one place and share it in real time. Construction photos can be saved in the relevant locations on the drawing. You can easily create an issue with the task. It is very convenient to be able to store photo and issue as a set of data in the task. Utilizing the mark of the issue prepared in advance, it is possible to visually confirm what kind of issue was in which place. It is easy for site manager to check compression of tasks by associating the issue with the person in charge. By sharing such information in real time, 
between the site manager and the project manager through Plangly. The inspection work can be greatly streamlined. With Plangly, you can centrally manage quality information and share it in real time. Next, let's look into some examples of construction step planning. This is an integrated model with architecture, structure, and MEP. Foundation step attribute is not included in the model from design team. We added them to the assembly model. Each construction zone information is color coded. When you want to see structural foundations, you can hide other elements. Also, slice function is convenient. In this example, we added steel frame zoning information to assemble model, hiding architecture model and displaying steel frame and MEP model only. By restructuring the model with construction zoning information, we can show construction steps very clearly and easily. Lastly, I would like to share one of the examples in schedule management by linking assemble and an external tool. We use to plan based on the construction steps in individual head and analog materials. By utilizing assemble, we can visually visualize everything, calculate quantity and plan with high quality. Visualizing the progress is easy. By updating the schedule information into the assembly model. Let's talk about some of the outcomes from the activities I have explained so far. First, by utilizing BIM 360, the drawings printed out on paper coming from design team can be reduced to zero. Second, the time required for inspection and site patrol work can be reduced in half with plan grid. Third, we can gain more accuracy in construction plan by using assembly. We could realize some of the effects from digitalization. However, this is just a prologue of the digital transformation at construction sites. If we compare it with the beam level, this could be level zero or level one. I would like to promote the transformation further and support activities to the next level. Thank you, Shizawa-san. As a final topic, I would like to touch upon our vision of a future construction site. By 2022, a large number of IoT tools and heavy equipment will be in action on site. More digital evidence than ever can be stored by utilizing digital information on site at inspections, for example. What would happen to the construction site a few years later? Make the most of the real data coming from smart control center and construct buildings efficiently with minimum workers on site, introducing autonomous robots and 3D printers, people, robots, and IoT coexist, and everyone can work safely and enjoy. 
That is a future construction site. We will create digitalization on site is accelerating. We believe the construction site of the future is not far away. Next summary slide. Digital disruption in AEC will proceed in construction site. Design beam will show its true value as a construction site and bring about a synergistic effect. As I mentioned in the slide, at the beginning, there are overwhelmingly more construction engineers than designers. Mindset change in construction site is important. Digitalization will accelerate when companies, organizations, managers, and leaders support it. Big data in the construction industry will become a digital infrastructure and transform into a treasure to support management decisions and judgment. That's what we believe. Thank you very much. Now, we would like to move into Q&A session. We will have translation support from Autodesk CSM, Tomiyama-san. Let's start. 